students today we are going for another topic new topic that is reproduction in humans when we go for this topic we have to know two things one is the male reproductive system another is the female reproductive system and the unique that comes from the reproductive system that is the sperm and the ova clear so we'll be going for both the reproductive system but one by one in a diagramatic form diagrams will be helping us to know the small parts and small portion that are there inside the reproductive system so let's start our explanation and understanding first we'll be going for the male reproductive system so the male there are two testes or we can say one pair of testes which remain in a muscular sac like structure called the scrotum s c r o t u m scrotum these are testes and it is in the scrotum there are many compartments in the testes these are the compartments okay so this is a irregular body this is called reti testis okay there are compartments see this is a compartment which is entering inside the reti testis it converges and enter inside the reti testis okay now we'll be trying to know the names of it these are called this compartment that i have drawn it is called testicular lobules what it is called t e s t i c u l a r testicular lobules l o b u l e s okay these are these are definitely is what testis inside the testicular lobules there is the occurrence of most important thing you see there is the occurrence of what seminiferous tubules what is it called s e m i n i f e r o u s seminiferous tubule which one green one so all of this has seminiferous tubule okay all of this has so i will not draw all try to get it all of this we have for seminiferous tubule all everywhere now i will be drawing one of the seminiferous tubule here and we we'll try to get it uh, which is inside the testicular this is the testicular lobule one of it has been taken out one and inside it there is the occurrence of what same first tubule so this is testicular lobule and this one is what seminiferous first tubule understood the thing seminiferous first tubule aligned by germinal epithelial layer see red i am showing this is germinal epithelial layer okay now testicular lobules there may be 250 to 300 average 250 you can take so each testicular lobule has seminiferous tubule and seminiferous tubule in inner side lined by what this is a germinal epithelial layer germinal epithelial layer produces two types of cells one is called sartuli s e r t o l i sartuli other is called the germ cell germ cells got it the germ cells ultimately what it produces sperms so sperms produced so sperms are the reproductive unit of human reproductive system that we need to be very very clear now you see another thing 
here there is a small tube like structure which pierces the testes and come outside and it unite with the tube one of the tube outside this tube this is called epididymis this is called epididymis so we will be writing the name here this a uh, small small tube is called vasa efferential this is called ep di dimis yeah this one this one you see another one is there that this is the epididymis up till here from here till here and this portion is called vas deferens now see what happens sperm produced when sperm was produced inside the testicular lobules by the seminiferous uh, tubule okay which has the germinal epithelial and it produces germ cells and germ cells produce what sperms sperms comes out take rest for small duration of time in the testes this red testes then it comes out to the vasa efferentia this is a vasa efferentia small tube and comes to epididymis okay and there there is the occurrence of the maturation of the sperm finally sperm comes out through this vas deferens can you see this one vas deferens and goes out to the penis to fertilize the egg so the sperm goes out to the penis okay here up till here is the is the male reproductive system clear to you now let's go for the female when you go for the female we will be knowing the parts what is there in the female so a female reproductive system consists of following parts it has a fallopian tube one pair so i'll be drawing diagram like this one pair of fallopian tube so how many pairs of fallopian tube one pair and this is fallopian tube this is f a l l o p i a n fallopian tube which one this one how many pair one pair one pair of egg ovary sorry ovary this is ovary here also there is one ovary clear another most important part of the female reproductive system is the uterus u t e r u s this is uterus uterus is one okay and uterus has endometrial layer endometrial layer this is cervix clear yeah? this is the vagina so when you speak about the female reproductive system these are the parts that i told you ovary produces egg and the ovary remain outside egg enters the fallopian tube okay so when the egg enters the sperm that i told you will be released by the penis need to enter the female genital tract it will be entering through this so 
it will be entering this is the vaginal portion vagina it will be entering through the female genital tract and will be fertilizing the egg here okay then comes the fertilization then comes the occurrence of zygote then comes the embryo so that's from the male and female reproductive system 